Yo, what's more, what's up, guys? I'm here today with the trade deadline video with Zach Jenkins, of course. And then, I mean, we're just going to do a few trades. Pretty big trades or pretty big names, but at the same time, nothing like a Hugh Darvish or a Mike Trout. But it's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. And uh, these should be trades that will definitely help our team make the playoffs. So uh, if you want to introduce yourself, Zach, go right ahead. Yo, guys, you know me from some of, some of those other videos. Just here doing the uh, trade deadline. Really excited about it. Definitely going to be some helpful moves. Uh, hopefully you guys will think so too. Awesome. So we're going to be doing three trades, like I said. If you want to get right into the first one, um, just list the names. All right, so it is the L.A. Dodgers. They are getting C.C. Sabathia, Austin Romine, and Estrada. Uh, the Yankees are going to be getting V1, the only Jared Weaver. <laughs> now, when you heard the one and only, you might have been thinking Kershaw, but it's not Kershaw, it's Jared Weaver. Sabathia's regression has been a little bit of an issue. He's coming off a Cy Young year, but unfortunately this year has not been as good as he's posted a 4-3 ERA. So getting Jared Weaver, who is six rated points higher than Sabathia, is going to be great for this team. And we have an influx of catchers, so that's why we were putting in Austin Romine as well. He is a B-level prospect. And then Estrada is a C-level prospect. So this will help our team because we're getting a very solid starter. And this, will, and this will help the Dodgers as well because they also get a pretty solid starter and a couple of prospects. So that's the first trade out of three. Get into the second one. All right, guys. So the next team is the Detroit Tigers. Um, it took us a little bit. It took us a little while to come up with this trade. I'll I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. Um, but once we finally got it, it we thought it would be perfect. The Tigers are going to get Ivan Nova and prospect Mason Williams, and in return, the Yankees are going to get Rondon and Rajai Davis. Rajai Davis will be the perfect bench player as a pinch runner. Mo, I'll let you get into that. All right. Well, this was also a very tough tough trade to do because Mason Williams is one of the highest regarded prospects in the Yankees organization and Ivan Nova this season in this franchise has posted a very respectable 375 ERA but we really needed a solid hitter against lefties and that's where we're, we're going to get in Rajay Davis as well as a very speedy guy to come off the bench because with Ichiro retiring after last season we really have not had that threat. Also, Rondon is a guy that I like because of how hard he throws. His velocity in this game is 99, so that'll be fun. He'll start the season, or at least the rest of this season, with the Yankees in AAA. But as we move forward, maybe he'll make a postseason roster if we end up making it, but we'll have to see what happens. So the third trade is going to be... Alright, so somewhat similar to a real-life trade that the Yankees did with the Arizona Diamondbacks. They are getting Vidal Nuno just like they did in real life. They are also getting Shane Green and Brian Mitchell. The Yankees are getting in return Robbie Ray and Wade Miley. Now, we think this trade is pretty interesting because we're trading away Nova, which means there's going to be a whole for a fifth starter and so that's where Wade Miley comes in he's a very solid lefty Cliff Lee right now is our only lefty in the rotation so we really desperately need another one we're giving up Nuno just like the Yankees did in real life uh, Shane Green who I see a lot of potential in and so does the game because he's a B-level prospect and then Mitchell is also a B-level prospect and Ray if you haven't heard of him his name is Robbie Ray he's a 23 year old in the Dimebacks organization he is also a B-level prospect so really trading away some young guys for young guys, but I feel like Miley, especially this season, is going to help us down the road, and Ray in the future is going to help us down the road as well. So those were the three trades that we decided to do. Um, of course, after the trade deadline, you can still make trades, but just with people that aren't on the 40-man or people that get DFA'd. So we'll be co keeping a close eye on the waiver wire as the season progresses to see if there's anyone else that we can pick up and trade for. Um, if you can think of anything else to say, please do. I actually just wanted to, wanted to uh, say what the, what the uh, 
rotation will look like from what it looks like now to what it looks what what it will look like once these trades are complete if that's all right with you yeah it's perfect all right <clears throat> so the rotation right now as some of you already know is Sabathia Tanaka Lee Pineda Nova with David Phelps as the emergency starter if someone goes down or you know the days or the starter of that day is on a like a rough four on, is on like a rough patch four game streak like for four with a seven point five ERA. So the rotation after the trade will look like this: Tanaka, Weaver, Lee, Pineda, Miley. David Phelps will still be the emergency starter again if something bad were to happen. Yeah, and I really feel like this trades or these trades really help out our rotation. Notice we didn't do anything with the bullpen. Because our bullpen is very solid right now. Papelbon, especially being the closer, having an incredible season, posting a .39 ERA with 24 consecutive saves. And, of course, Jesse Crane doing his job in the setup man role. And Dylan Batances is just a beast, just like he is in real life. So we didn't do anything with the bullpen because it has been great this season. You, you did move uh, Batances down to setup, though, I believe, didn't you? That's right, yeah. We put him in the seventh inning role instead of being just like a middle reliever sort of guy. So pretty much looks like 7, 8, 9 are locked up if the Stars can go at least 6 innings and have a lead. But um, other than that, I feel like our bench has improved a lot, especially with Rajai Davis. And overall, I feel like our future's improved too, getting some very solid prospects. Had to give some up, but of course with any trade, you have to give something up to get something. So these moves, I feel like they're really going to help us right now and in the future. I see, I see a, world, a World Series in our future. Sure hope so. <laughs> That's the goal. <laughs> Even though I hate the Yankees in real life, you know? Okay, you don't... Go, <laughs> gotta, gotta root for them. You don't gotta go hating on my Yankees. <laughs> so, um... That might be it. Do you have anything else to say? Other than just watch for our trade deadline video, most likely on my channel, which Mo will hopefully finally remember to link. And uh -huh. so that will probably be Saturday or Sunday the what's what is that the second or the third um the trade deadline is in about 18 hours from now so definitely 18 and a half hours just about so definitely watch for that it'll probably be like two hours away from by the time this video uploads though um maybe not depends on how fast smoke can get a video uploaded but either way definitely watch for that um we will be keeping you guys up to date on Twitter. You can follow me at ZachJenkins 2 k 17 or MoLafo16 at MoLafo16, just like he always says. I took it from him this time. But I think that's it for me. Yeah, um, by the time this video goes up, the trade deadline video will be up, so I will link it in the description for you guys to go check it out. Um, and yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed these trades because, like I said, these are going to help us now and a lot down the road. So Motherfoo 16 signing out with Zach Jenkins. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.